America's Got Talent semi finals are here. The first group of 11 semi finalists hit the stage Tuesday, all vying for the chance to win the toughest competition in the world, host Terry Crews said. Buckle up, people. The acts are now just one performance away from making the finals. And to make things even tougher, another wild guard is in play. The judges brought back the High Energy Beyond Belief Dance Company, which was eliminated during the quarterfinals. A dance group has never won AGT before. I was so happy when you came back because you deserve to be here, Heidi Klum said after the girls' fun-filled routine to Megan Trainer's Me Too, which featured their signature sass, TikTok trends and heelays. Warns AGT semi-finalists to get better. Here's who advanced. Tonight's show also saw Aiden Bryant emerge as a frontrunner. Cowell called the 16-year-old the one to beat leading into Tuesday's performance and the self-taught aerialist didn't disappoint with his fiery routine. He received a standing ovation from the judges and studio audience. I cannot even talk because they are going crazy for you, Sofia Vergara said as the crowd continued its rowdy applause. I was on my feet because how could you not? You're 16 years old, self-taught and no safety net. This was a gold-level performance. World Taekwondo demonstration team may have missed the 2020 Tokyo Olympics due to COVID-19. But Cruz Golden Buzzer winners delivered another champion caliber act, featuring dancers, athletes, acrobats and entertainers. This was the best act of the night, Howie Mandel said. Cowell added it was the best performance you've given, while Vergara compared them to synchronized dance working hard. That was a compliment, she clarified. Simon Cowell dubs this Olympic-worthy World Taekwondo act the best he has ever seen. The first field of semi-finalists was dominated by singers, five to be exact, including Vergara's Golden Buzzer winner Jimmy Harrod, who the judges agree is the best singer in this competition. He earned a standing ovation following his breathtaking performance on Pink's Glitter in the Air. Klum said, I know we were all waiting for Kanye's album, Donda, to drop but I am waiting for your album to drop. Cal said he put on a masterclass, but Herod is still looking out for his competitors, the competition is much tougher now. Man that kid can sing. As referring to 10-year-old Peter Rosalita, who performed a rendition of Mariah Carey's I Can't Live Without You after a rocky start, Rosalita asked for his backing track to start over after he missed his mark. Can you repeat, please? Sorry guys, he said. Mandel said the hiccup wasn't your fault. The crowd was screaming. You couldn't hear the music and you did better than 10 times someone your age. The judges applauded Rosalita's perseverance with a standing ovation. The fact that you knew you missed the intro and you took control on a live show. And then you delivered that amazing vocal, Cal said. I got all emotional.
Tori Bagassi sang Elton John's Can You Feel the Love Tonight from Disney's The Lion King but the aspiring Broadway singer wasn't feeling the love from some of the judges. Cowell called Vagas's performance too safe and Mandel took it a step further, You are a great talent on the wrong show. Our show is about variety, but I didn't see the variety. Mandel was also harsh on Madeline Bailey. He said her emotional performance of a song dedicated to her late grandmother was nothing. Cowell hit back, Am I allowed to saw ass on American television? Because Howie you're talking out of it. Do not listen to a single world Howie Mandel says, he added. Korean Soul opted for Lauren Daigle's You Say after Cal suggested their song selection was too predictable last week. Tonight, Cal said their song choice was a million, billion times better, but still, they sounded out of tune. The first group of semi-finalists were rounded out by Dustin Tavella, magician, Michael Winslow, voice instrumentalist, and Jean Abreuon, comedian. It's up to America to vote for who moves on. Fans can vote up to 10 times for each act on NBC.com slash AGVote and the America's Got Talent app. The 7X advancing to the semi-finals will be revealed during Wednesday's results show, which will include guest performances from AGT star comedian Preacher Lawson, NBC, ATDT slash PDT, 